Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that if you have a function from a topological space into a topological space and y is the trivial topology, then f is continuous. So in this proof we're going to be using the topological definition of continuity. So let me write that here briefly as a reminder. So in this case we'll say that f from x to y is continuous, so is continuous if for every open subset of y, so for every, and let me just use the letter O, so every, say O, contained in y, where O is open, so O is open, we have that the inverse image of O is open in x. So this is open in X. So this is the topological definition of continuity. So given any open subset of Y, the inverse image of that subset is open in X. This is the standard uh, definition. The trivial topology is also called the indiscrete topology. It's a special topology where the only uh, open sets in this topology are Y and the empty set. So, for example, if we say tau sub y is the topology that we're defining on y, it would be the collection of open subsets containing namely the empty set and y. So these are the only open subsets in the trivial topology, which is also called the indiscrete topology. Okay, so let's go through this proof carefully and we're going to prove that the function is continuous. So proof. So you start the proof by supposing that you know x and y are topological spaces and that y is the trivial topology. So I'll, I'll write that down. So suppose f maps x to y where x and y, so where x and y are topological spaces, so topological spaces. And y is the trivial topology. So, and y is the trivial topology. Trivial topology. So, we're writing down the hypothesis, and now we just have to show that the function is continuous. So, we have to start by taking an open subset of y. So, take any open subset O of y, where O is open. And now we simply have to look at the inverse image of O in x. So let's work it out. So there's two cases now. Because y is the trivial topology, there's two cases. So y, uh, O could be either the empty set or it could be the whole set. So let's take each individual case. So if O is equal to the empty set, Let's work out this here. So the inverse image of O is equal to, well, what's this going to be? Uh, it's going to be the set of all the X in capital X. It's the definition of inverse image. It's all of the X's in capital X that get mapped to the empty set. So it's X and X such that F of X is in the empty set. So this is the definition of the inverse image. So in this case here, in this generic case, it would simply be x and x, such that f of x is an O. It's the set of all elements in x, such that f of x gets mapped uh, to some element in O. So in this case, uh, this is going to be empty, right? There, this is impossible. You can't have an element in the empty set. So this is empty. And so this is a subset of x, and the empty set is open in x, so which is open in x. Because the empty set is always open in a topological space. So, so that takes care of that case. I, I suppose here, to make the proof a little cleaner, um, I should have written that there, there's two cases. It's either empty or it's y, but I'll continue. So the other case is if o is equal to y then we can look at the inverse image of O. So it's a set of all X and X, so X and capital X, such that, such that uh, F of X 
is in O, but O is Y. So F of X is in Y. So we're here. So what is this saying? This is all of the X's such that F of X is in Y. Well, that's every single X, right? By definition, it's a function. Every single X gets mapped. So this is going to be the entire space. And this is also open in X, which is open in X. Because the entire space is open in the entire, it's always a member of your topology, right? Given any topology, there's two sets that are always in your topology, the empty set and the whole space. So if O is the empty set, the inverse image of O is the empty set, which is open in X. If O is the entire space Y, the inverse image of O is X, which is the entire space X, which is open in X. In either case, uh, this is going to be open. So in any case, in any case, this bad boy is open in X open and x. And this is precisely the assertion that f is continuous, right? Given any O, subset of y, where O is open in y, we showed that f of f inverse of O is open in x. Here, you know, for clarity, you could say open in y, just to make it a little bit better. And uh, here, before you go to this step here, you could emphasize that, you know, because it's the trivial topology, which is the key, you only have two cases, right? It's either going to be the empty set or, or Y. So maybe here you could say something like, um, since, you know, Y is trivial, it's the trivial topology, you know, O is equal to empty or O is equal to Y. Those are the only two possible cases, right? So. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there uh, working on topology. I kind of went through it really slow and explained a lot. This is considered a really, really easy proof and I kind of you know, spent a lot of time on it. But if you're learning topology, it's good to go through, through all of the details. That's it. Until next time, take care.